Guys, my name is Zuber from Jeva. Today we're going to be doing some 5M uh, scripting involving uh, using ACE permissions in your code. So I have the link that we're, or I have the code that we're going to be using in the description below. Below the uh, this link in the description, like I just said, and we're also going to need a place where you can get your Steam ID because we're going to be using this through Steam. So it'll be looking for your Steam ID. Uh, you know if you have this permission or not so uh, I'm gonna put this to the side here we're, we're gonna start this off by going to your server folder and uh, ser where your server.cfg is uh, in here I'm going to be uh, executing a different file so exec uh, perms.cfg and then this perms.cfg does not exist right now but we will make it um, right now so perms.cfg so in here, what we're going to want to do is, um, so that basically you can literally, the code that we're going to write here for the C CFG part in this file, you can literally just uh, paste it over this. It doesn't matter. I just like to make my, uh, I like to make these organized just like I have my license in a different one. Uh, and I have my resources in another different uh, file. I'm going to put these perms in a different file too. doesn't matter. So in here, we're going to be adding a uh, kind of like a group. Uh, for people that have access to do the stuff that we're going to do. So add ace admin. I'm going to call this admin. Just remember these strings and then I'm going to have I'm going to call this um, administrator. So what basically these two little strings here are going to uh, not strings but these two little arguments here are going to act upon what we'll be adding here. So in here we're going to or below we're going to do add a underscore principle principal and then uh, what we're gonna want to do is uh, identifier identifier dot steam colon so basically uh, what we're doing right now actually I'm gonna first get my steam ID so vacband.com I'll put this link in the description so uh, it's gonna search them this that's my steam username that I just put in by the way and then what you're gonna want to do is um, have your hex right here so uh, that's my hex. I'm gonna put that in right there, and then I'm gonna make it allow, um, or not allow. My bad. Uh, we're gonna put in admin, just like we named it right up here. You can call these two the same thing. Just remember what you call them. Uh, but you need these two, just two. So uh, that's gonna be basically adding my Steam, uh, my Steam, uh, you know, my Steam account. Basically, being able to do whatever if this if I'm in this group. So now what we're going to want to do is actually check for it um, in the announce. I'm going to be using the announce resource that we created in the last episode. If you don't have this code or you haven't even watched it, I'd recommend you watching it and uh, you know using the code that we're using because we're going to be using this code in this uh, in this video to check if this per if this person can announce things or if he doesn't have permission, he can't announce it. Because basically in the last episode we made a little announce command that just announces it with no permissions or anything. So uh, we're just going to be adding some, uh, just some uh, class to it, I guess. So in here I'm going to add an uh, if, um, if right here, if is player ace allowed. And then we're going to make it do source, which is you, and then administrator. Actually I'm going to show you that... Uh, this, this that administrator this, it's from right here you use this part and not not the first argument the second one so in here I'm gonna paste that in there and then yeah so if that's uh, if you have that then it will uh, and it'll basically paste that or it'll basically execute this code that basically just um, sends the announcement to everyone on the server but if you don't have it, um, instead of ending it, we could do an else statement and say, we end the else statement and just so we don't forget. And then in here, we're going to make it trigger a client event. Uh, we're going to call this client event no perms. We'll be creating this client event in a second. Just let me type it in out here and then I'm going to type in source. So uh, yeah, that's, that's basically referring to you. So um, in here, uh, just so it doesn't just, like go to everyone. Um, so in here we're going to be using Gordon the client Lua and what we're gonna want to do is actually um, basically 
we're just gonna be registering this client event that we just made so um, let's let's do that right here um, so let's register register net event um, we're gonna call it no perms just like we called it right right here so um, let's do no perms just don't accept any parameters except for the no perms part itself that string and then in here we're going to be added uh, event and we're going to call it uh, no perms and then this runs a function that basically um, it basically just has that and then it'll it'll trigger the uh, It'll, it'll basically just put in a message on your box or in your chat box saying you can't do this and it only sends it to the client which is why we're doing it in the client scope and then it'll trigger it to the server saying as a client so no one else can see it but you if you try it if you don't have perms so let's do this uh, trigger I cannot spell trigger event and in here we're going to type in chat chat message like so Type in a string basically just saying error. You'll see how this works. If you haven't seen our previous chat videos where we use a chat resource, this is a table to this part of RGB. So I'm gonna make that red and then it'll be like, sorry, uh, but you don't have permission. So that'll just say you don't have permission if it'll trigger that if you if you're not allowed on the list so I am uh, I'm gonna run the server here I have it added to my resources.cfg uh, right here uh, and uh, yeah I'm gonna add that and uh, I'm gonna run this I'll, I'll see you guys in the server in a second when I join it so uh, yeah all right so I'm in my server now and I'm gonna do slash announce Hey guys, uh, hey guys, this should work. And it did work, so uh, that's basically saying the permissions are uh, working. I'm going to show you what happens if I don't, if I'm not added to it. And also, just a little note you can add as many as you want for these. Let's say these were all uncommented. I just commented this, by the way, using a hash. But if you were to add, if you want multiple people to have this permission, um, you could have it so that just keep pasting it over uh, with different Steam Xs, of course. So I'm going to comment that out and um, I'm going to restart the server because uh, this only works uh, or it updates every time you start the server, as from what I tested. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to restart the server and I'll show you guys what happens that without me being on the list. Alright, so I just restarted the server and I also just rejoined it. And um, I'm gonna type in uh, slash announce. Hey, this won't work. And it'll return to only me saying that I don't have permission to do this. Um, basically, that works now. The whole permission system, like I said in here, uh, I'm commented out, and it's basically saying. Uh, oh, he doesn't have this, so then we're gonna send this little event basically saying uh, he doesn't have permission to do this, only to the client that requested it, as we spe specified in the source right here, which means you, uh, basically. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll put all of the, I'll put the last video's code and this video's code in the description. I'll put the last video in the description too, because you're gonna need it. If you don't understand, like, basically like this, this announces it to the whole server, but you can get a better idea of just watching the last video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a, you know, if this helped you, please like it, subscribe to us. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to post more. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, oh yeah, also we have a new website, um, Jeva.xyz. Um, go check that out. We're gonna put articles on there soon. Uh, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. And thank you for watching.